Hey, how's it going guys? So recently uh, I've been doing some uh, tutorial preparation and usually for any learning related materials uh, I'll put those uh, files in my other uh, Gmail account So here I purchased the, the G Suite uh, uh, Gmail account and uh, that gives me a specific domain name and as well as my design email account but I want to be able to uh, sync some of the folders from this account to my uh, Google Drive account. And right now this Google Drive is synced to my personal email account. And if I go to settings, actually not settings, uh, preferences. And from the preferences, I can only set up uh, one account at a time. So here, if I go to settings, and uh, if I need to, so here I only get two options, upgrade storage or disconnect accounts and reconnect to a different account. But I don't want to do this uh, like uh, individually. So if I, I don't want to uh, disconnect uh, my accounts and resync and then sync back to my other account and so on. And yesterday I learned a new trick to uh, a workaround actually, and to be able to um, add some of my uh, Google Drive folder from my learndataanalysis.org uh, account to my personal account. And to do that, so here, uh, let's do, so here, from my uh, learndataanalysis.org Google Drive account. And let's, let me go ahead and create a new folder. So I'm going to call this folder uh, test folder. And in the test folder, I'm going to uh, drag a couple of uh, dummy files. Uh, actually, I'm, let me do this. I'm just going to create a new Excel file. Actually, what file should be okay. I'm going to call this uh, sync duck duck. I'm going to drag this file to my test folder account. So right now, uh, I'm in my learn data analysis that work. Uh, Google account, and I want to sync this um, test folder directory to my personal uh, Google Drive account. So, uh, which is going to sync back to this Google Drive directory right here. And to do that, let me go one level up. Now, go to the Google accounts and the folder that you want to uh, sync to your Google Drive. So here, let's say I want to uh, add a linkage of the test folder directory to my uh, personal Google Drive account. So what you want to do is you want to select the folder and right click. And you want to choose, uh, there should be option, oh, you want to choose a share. And here uh, you want to share this uh, folder with the person or the account that you want to uh, create a linkage. So here I'm going to type my uh, main uh, email address, which is uh, synced to my Google Drive, uh, my oh, my Google Drive account, and click on send. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to uh, share the folder access with this uh, email address? And say yes. Now that means right now from my um, personal uh, Google accounts, I have full access to this test folder right here. Now I need to go back to my other uh, drive. So here, let me go to my, okay. Go to my uh, Google Drive under my personal account. And here, uh, you want to go to share with me. And look for the, uh, the share folder. So here, test folder. And right click. Now you want to uh, click on add to my drive. And that will add the test folder uh, to your uh, Google Drive. Now if I take a look, so here's the, so let me zoom in a little bit more. So here's the test folder. And if I open the folder, and here's the, the sync uh, doc, 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 word documents. Now if I need to update the files, so here let's say I want to uh, add a new file. So here let me go to uh, my, well, my personal notes folder and I'll grab this word document and I'll just copy and paste over to the test folder directory and it's a very small uh, file only 19 uh, kilobytes 
and just give it a second to sync. Okay, now it's finished syncing. Now if I go to my learn data analysis account, and if I go back to the test folder, and let me refresh. And here's my uh, get commands uh, notes. So this is everything. And I tell this is a really useful trick. Um, if you need to sync, uh, if you have like a uh, file 10 uh, Google accounts, and for each account, you are actually storing a very specific type of documentation or files, then you can use this method to basically uh, create kind of like a master uh, Google Drive uh, repository and to allow you to uh, sync different files with uh, multiple accounts uh, simultaneously. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.